Are you a refrigeration or HVAC technician looking to get a raise, looking to get a new job, looking to get into commercial refrigeration, a higher paying role? Well, you need the skill level to get that. And in this free system and compressor troubleshooting guide, I'm gonna walk through the six things that you need to know when you're in that interview, having a conversation with that service manager, with that boss. We're gonna talk about the different checkpoints that you need to look for. So when they ask you, well, what do you look for when you're going into a service call? You can say confidently, well, I wanna check my discharge temperature. I wanna check my suction temperature. I wanna check my pressures if I have to. I wanna check what my SST is, what's my superheat, what's my subcooling. We're gonna dive into all the different checkpoints because when you're in that interview and you're having that conversation, you need to talk confidently with them when you're servicing or troubleshooting or maintenance a system. And this is what's gonna get you a pay raise. This is what's gonna get you that new job because you need to put the work in. Putting the work in, getting this guide is gonna help you get the results you're looking for. We dive into the six types of mechanical failures and this is a conversation you can have with that supervisor. Well, Mr. Supervisor, I understand when a compressor fails and what causes it to fail. This is why you should hire me. Do you know that there's six different types of mechanical failures for compressors? There's overheating. And overheating is caused by many different things. It could be a plug condenser. It could be high compression ratio. It could be a suction line pressure drop. This is why you should hire me, because I know this stuff. Or it's floodback. Mr. Service Manager, I understand when a compressor fails from floodback by looking inside. I know the checks to do. Floodback is caused by any time the compressor is running and refrigerant returns back to the compressor. And when that happens, it starts to displace the oil. It starts losing lubrication. And because of that, the parts inside the compressor start to wear. And I understand the wear patterns that happen inside there, which lead to that failure. So when I have to install this next one and I put it in there, I know the things to check. I know I need to check the metering device to see if it's properly functioning. I need to check to make sure all the evaporator fans are running. I need to make sure the evaporator is not plugged. I need to make sure the airflow is properly. These are some of the things that cause floodback. And this is what you want to talk about in the interview. And we talk about this in the guide. Here's the different checkpoints you should be checking. We get into overheating. It's so important. And then there's videos on here. You can click on here and watch a video to dive even deeper to talk about overheating, to give you a good understanding. But inside this guide, it's gonna talk about how to prevent it. You study this guide, you start to practice this in the field, you're gonna become a better technician. All you need to do is click the link, enter your name and email address, and download this guide. There are so many great things inside here. When we get into flooded starts, flooded starts, we talk about what causes flooded starts. It's different in scrolls and semi-hermetic. What do you need to look for? Why do you need to look inside the compressor? This is key because when you understand how the wear patterns look inside the compressor, you're going to be able to replace a compressor confidently. This is what's so big and this is how you're going to get that pay raise or you're going to get that job that you're looking for. It's all about results and you can show your boss and your service manager the results by putting the work in by studying this guide in depth and out, read it dozens and dozens and dozens of times, memorize it and then go practice it in the field. This is where it's a game changer. This is where you will get that next job. You will get that pay raise that you're looking for. And if the company you're working at doesn't get it, somebody else is gonna notice it and they're gonna wanna hire you because you got the skills that they're looking for. And the most expensive component in any refrigeration system is that compressor. To replace a compressor costs a lot of money. But if you can fix it, repair it before it fails and you understand if it's a failed compressor or there's a system issue, then that is gonna help you in that conversation with that service manager, with that boss. And I know for sure if you study this guide, you memorize it and you practice it in the field, you will be able to talk confidently in any interview you have with a service manager or a boss. And I really believe that when you understand the six compressor issues, six compressor mechanical failures, to a T and understand how to prevent them, 
you're going to be a better technician hands down. All you need to do to get these results is click the link, enter your name and email address, and I'm going to send you this for free.